I have a Samsung Galaxy A02s here. I'm going to show you how to transfer um, files such as your photos and videos directly from your uh, Galaxy phone to your MacBook or Apple computer using the charging cable and not using iTunes. So basically what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, plug in the charging cable and then I'm just going to drag and drop um, the files onto my uh, my MacBook here as if it's a Windows computer. The thing is, this is not a Windows computer, so in order for us to drag and drop, you have to go ahead and first download and install this right here. It's called an Android file transfer, and once you download and install it, there'll be like a little Android green guy down here. This is the easiest way to transfer videos and photos, in my opinion, from like a Galaxy phone to a MacBook, okay? So once you have that installed, now, so then you got to do is go ahead and just plug in your USB-A to your USB ports and then USB-C. Obviously it's going to go into the phone. I'll have this link in the description below for the uh, file, Android file transfer. So just look in the description. But uh, let me go ahead and plug in my phone now and I'll show you exactly how to do this. So just go ahead and grab it. I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in right now. Now let me go ahead and sign in. Oop, I get a message here. Uh, cannot access a uh, device, of course. Let me just click on OK. Let me just go ahead and log into my phone first. I'll click on OK. Now I get a message that pops up on my phone. It says allow access to phone data. I'm going to tap on allow. Right there. Now I'm going to put my phone down. Now this here window will pop up. Now this window doesn't pop up. All you got to do is just come back here to the little Android guy and open that up. And here we go. Okay. Now from here, if you see the uh, DCIM folder, that's where all your photos, uh, camera photos and videos are. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on DCIM folder and it says camera right there. I'm going to double click on camera. Now you can see I have some JPEGs, which are photos here, and I have one video. Now I can just go ahead and drag and drop them, whatever I want. I can drag it right to my desktop. I can go ahead and let go. But what I usually do is I'll, uh, I'll make a new folder here and I'll just call this galaxy and then what I do is I just copy all of them I'll highlight all of them I drag and drop into that new gallery folder you can see it's copying and there you go so my gallery or galaxy folder is here I'll double click that and you can see all these uh, videos and um, photos are now on my MacBook so pretty simple any questions or issues just comment below all right good luck guys bye